Hello there again, viewers. Since the last video, chapter one for those who were watching, I have done absolutely nothing with this game. Oh, it's, it's a plot device. They were happy together. They counted their crumbs, and then they started to cry after they realized they had to leave. You know, Elo and Milo, they're really pathetic. They see each other, they count crumbs, and eat maple leaf biscuits, and then they cry when they leave. It's called a sleepover! Just spend the night at each other's houses. Then you're done. You don't need to find your way back. If you really like to see each other every single day, just don't leave each other. If you know you can't find each other, just don't leave. The stretching cube, these descriptions have been repeating since the very first level, really. It's just a background, somewhat interesting background, I guess. We learn that they're barber the cubes are barbers. They have to trim their mustaches. Whatever. It's, I guess, mate. No, it's not really that interesting. Sebastian's pointing out, Ooh, it's a special... It's a special TV cube. You fall through it, go to the other side. It really does... I, I change the gameplay around, because... Now you can go to all the different sides of the cubes, and it makes it that much more difficult. It really... It looks like a TV, doesn't it? That's what happens. Stand on a TV, you pass through it to the other side. Lesson learned. And then you just strap it on your backpack, and then you're on your way to gather more cube, gather gather more memory bits, because that's what's all important in life. What is that thing floating around in the background? Is it like a submarine? There's dogs underwater here. I know that. Uh, dogs with flipper. Yeah, this is a dream, isn't it? Look at it. Who would be surprised if it turned out to be a dream in the end? It's <laughs> it's it ends extremely realistic after going through this dreamlike state what do you think it was real uh, what do those even look like uh, I don't want to say what those look like a thick ending to a long pole I'm done talking about that now pretty short level here pretty straightforward just just teaching me the new the new gameplay mechanics in this game because that's, that's what's important. A long extending streak to go grab the photograph. What would you do without the photograph? I, I don't know. This is cool. By the way, don't go, don't go to the next thing if you want to collect the memory bits, because there's no going back on this level. But I like this, I like the center. It's, whoop! Through it, next, next platform. I'm ready for it, ready for it. Ooh, let's go to the ship. There's a floating teacup, a ship. What else is in the background? Is that like a submarine? There's, there's the swimming dogfish. Ha, ah, it's a dogfish! Get the soft gun, now we're done. It's over. We've won. I guess we're, there's still some memory bits missing, but it's over. It's puzzle solved. Next. Come on. Make it quick. Don't have all day, Elo and Milo. You have to you have to lose each other again after today. This wind it's a wind up teacup. There's a, there is a lot of interesting things going on in the background right here. The king finds his queen and they do their dance which doesn't change throughout the whole game. They just completely forget everything that they've done. It's not even it's not even that they have forgotten how to get to each other, but they forgot their previous day, so they get to do their dance again. I have not found the Ultra Deluxe system yet. I'll never find it. I don't even... What, what did it say that the Ultra Deluxe system even did? Because I have not found it yet, even though I've finished this. Hmm. Whatever. Here is the dog poking its head out of a hole. It's a, it's a dog sock puck puppet that eats the eats your cube so you have to go to the other side using the television cube that goes through but if you're next to it it will take your cube from your backpack because it is a bully but crisis averted it's the same background can are can you see the other levels like because that's the same ship i don't think so you can't see much of anything it's also blurry. Too blurry to read. What is all of that? 
Huh. See, that was pretty slick. Placing the guy there, knowing that I have to do that? Yeah. I'm good at this game. I'm really curious, actually. I haven't tried to have any influence with the environmental objects in this game, because in a lot of instances, like the goo in Chapter 1, you're close to it. Can you actually, like, touch some of the environmental objects? You can't get to the ship, unfortunately. But, like, if you actually touch something in the environment, does it affect, or is it just simply the cubes that you're standing on that this game involves? Oh, he... <laughs> The, the dog pokes his head out. Nobody's there. Look at him. I think I found you. I think this this puzzle solved too. Yes, yes, it's solved. Isn't the story great in Elo Milo? It's just that simple. Can't find each other. Time to find each other again. An excuse for the puzzles. The next one. Inside, the photographs scattered around the world are tiny bells. How does that work? Inside a photograph, there's a bell. Nonsensical descriptions in this game. I'm sick of it! Sorry. Sorry for spiking the mic. I, I like this level. This level's a fun one. A little bit of backtracking, normally because I'm stupid. Grab the CD. Are there bells in the CD, too? That, that accounts for the jingle. Not just the photographs, but the CD as well. There's bells inside of. Oh, this game. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. It's no Call of Duty, that's for sure. I didn't mean that, by the way. It Well, I did mean it. I don't mean it seriously. How about that? It doesn't really matter to me, <laughs> but it is no Call of Duty. I think that's fair. Ooh, the dog will eat the backpack. See, you have to, you have to avoid him. Understand that. You can't go buy him with a backpack. He'll steal it constantly. Because the backpack weighs you down, so you sink into his little hole. The thumb sinks into the hole, and then, and then he gets angry, and so he steals your backpack from you. That's me putting more plot than there actually is in this game. So you have the you have the floating wind-up teacup still. You have the snakes with the enlarged heads and you have the dogfish the ship. I care about this because it, the background's interesting and I'm not going to examine the actual cube in the gameplay except for now I'm using Rascal's characters again which is cool. But the important thing here is the backgrounds. That's what really counts in this game. I realized that I forgot the Safka, so I have to continue. In my previous attempt, I also forgot the Safka, and I... Because you have to backtrack a little bit, and I want to do this as quickly as possible. So I remember the Safka that time. With their little hats. <laughs> so cute. This game is old. It's been out for a week. Done with it. And puzzle is finished. Congratulations. You have met each other and you can dance again. Just to lose it. The premise is so absurd. Seaweed. This is the fun one, the moving cube. In the stretching cube's ability to extend was developed over thousands of years to grab clothing. How many? I, I think by this point I've seen this message I probably 15 times. I know. I like these moving cubes though. They're fun because you can ride on top of them, and they like to eat apples. And who doesn't like to eat apples? I do like how. By the time you get to Sebastian, he's pretty much already eaten the apple, so it's self-evident what Sebastian has to say. He says that the wandering cube likes to eat apples, but you've already seen him eat an apple cube. 
so you know this already. The key is to get that moving, wandering cube all throughout the level, because that is how you get him to eat all of the apples so you can get everything. The wandering cube is my favorite cube in this game. Because he's like a sheep. Or a fox. A fox with a mustache. If you did not see the other videos, then you do not know that the memory bits unlock new memories that are sort of, I guess, backstory elements. Basically, they just say how much Elo and Milo love each other and love spending time with each other and how they miss each other. And it's just depressing like that, but you don't get to see them here because I've already collected these memory bits and unlocked the memories, and I don't care enough to actually show you guys what the memories are like. So you're going to have to go without that. I know how much you care and how much you want to know all about the backstory of Elo and Milo, but you don't get to see that in this walkthrough. You should comment if you really want to see the memories. Maybe it'll be sarcastic, your your comments, but... And puzzle solved. All three Safkas, I say it's a success. You can now actually see that I'm beating the average score, unlike before, because I'm actually doing runs beforehand just to make it as quickly as possible so you don't get to see me just wandering around like a fool i actually i want these videos to be a little bit shorter even though this is 18 minutes long almost 19 minutes this one is difficult if you don't know what you're doing he's watching me very creepily i also like to go the opposite way of where I should go at first, just because I want to collect all the memory bits, and I don't know if it actually helps with backtracking, but I don't want to. I don't want. I'd like to delay the reun the Elo and Milo reuniting until the very last possible moment because I'm trying to collect everything, especially the broken CDs because they're incredibly valuable. Those are dog prints. Some people might call them paw prints, not I. But those are paw floating paw prints. I like this game. That's seaweed! How could I have been so stupid? It's not floating snake things with big heads. That is seaweed. Alright, this is the tricky part, because you got the dog, he's blocking the snake. It's all good, because you just have to go underneath the dog, because that's all he can handle. He can only handle one side. That giant floating cylinder reminds me of the chum bucket. It has like, it has windows on bu a bunch of sides. It reminds me of the chum bucket. It really does. If you don't know what the chum bucket is, you can die. I have another idea. I like interacting with you people because there's not that much to talk about with the story in this game or anything that I'm doing since I'm just going around in circles to try to find people. If you're tired of Xbox Live Arcade games, specifically of us showing Xbox Live Arcade games, you should comment below in the video because I'm, I'm really curious. Nobody likes, Nobody's really watching the Xbox Live Arcade games, which is kind of a shame because a lot of them are really good. I think people prefer killing. Not that it'll change anything that we're doing. A hundred years to find out who's the toughest and most persistent? I think Elo and Milo are the toughest and most persistent Safkas. They're the biggest. They also don't quit each other. I wish I could quit. I wish I could quit you. They're 
gay. Elo's not a girl. They're, it's like Brokeback Mountain. Ooh, this is a f I actually I keep saying these ones this is a fun one. Ooh, this is a fun one. I miss here because the controls suck in this game. Not because I'm not very good. I'm fine at this game. It's just the controls. I keep saying I like this game. It's just because I like the wandering cube. He just makes everything so much more wandery and fun. Although he delays things. Like I get to sit here and wait. And wait. And wait. Thank you. Thank you for showing up on time. This one does take a while if you don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna say that. You can run and tell that. He just jumped! Take that, Asia. They can jump in this game. He just did it. Now that I have the snake, it is so over. The cubes shall be destroyed because I have the snake. The puzzle's defeated. That's all that's needed. Could you imagine if this was timed? I just got a thought, like, seeing the bubbles, they remind me of Sonic when Sonic's drowning, and it's the terribly nerve-wracking sound that you hear, but could you imagine if Elo, Milo, they had to be able to breathe so it was timed, and, and you had to beat the puzzle in a certain amount of time before they ran out of breath? That's just ridiculous. They don't even have mouths. I, want, I don't any. I don't even think it's that easier. This game's any easier if you don't go for all of the pieces. Like the, at least in these earlier levels, because this is still an early level. It's chapter two. It's part one of chapter two. I decided to not have a 25-minute video showing the last three, and then leaving the specials again for their own video. So in these early levels, it's it's all pretty linear. So it's not that much more work to to actually go get all of the pieces. Pretty simple. I actually think that I like this level because there's a lot of timing involved. They, because the wandering cubes act on their own accord, you have to time it correctly. And that's the end of this video. Peace out. Watch the next one. It was, it's good for you.